What? Okay, I was only gone for a week. How did the channel, like, fall apart in that week? I come back and it's like, oh, I'm leaving. I'm not going to be here next week. I don't know if I can continue this. And uh, Since I don't have any challenges, I'm not going to do a challenge today. Since a lot of people aren't going to be here to do it, I'm not even going to roll. I think... This is my opinion, since a lot of people are thinking about leaving where they're not going to be here this week. Maybe we should just take a break for a week or two, figure things out, find new people for the people leaving if we need to, and then kind of... I remember we were talking about before having a new season, sort of. This could be our new season with new people, whoever needs a break and whatnot. What do you want? Okay, my brother is messaging me on Facebook, and he's downstairs right now, so I don't know, he's weird. I was hoping to make this video really exciting with footage and pictures from my New York trip, but I don't feel all that excited now that I'm back. I will make some video maybe on my other channel about my whole New York experience, but yeah, show you the playbills of everything. Now all the playbills, I got autographs of people, some of the people in there, 39 steps. There were four people in the whole cast, I got three of them. Billy Elliot equals the best musical ever. And that's the guy that played Billy. This little kid was amazing. And then that was one of the ladies who was awesome too. West Side Story. I basically got the entire ensemble there. It's it's really crazy. Like, three people just like passed by and it was like, hi, find a place. I kind of envy the people that bought posters because then when they had a huge poster, it looked a lot better and the signatures weren't all scrunched in there, but yeah. Blythe Spirit. And no, Angela Lansbury did not come out. That made us very sad, but this is... Um, the girl who played Edith, the maid, who was also pretty hilarious, but I would have loved to have Angela Lansbury or Rupert Everett or some of the other main people. Our house, which turned out to be inappropriate for high schoolers, but we saw it anyway and I thought the people were amazing. And Waiting for Godot, which I realize I mispronounced earlier. This is John Goodman. He was kind of unpleasant. He didn't really seem interested. This is Bill Irwin. He was a lot nicer and really excited to have a lot of people there being like, oh my gosh, we love you, that was amazing. He was more into it. How many of you guys actually watched the Tonys on TV? My family did and they said it was so long because it was like three hours and I was like, I sat there the whole time for like five hours because we had to get there early and then they had a whole hour of the creative awards before, but I loved it every second of it. I thought it was just magical to actually be there. The highlight of my trip, I would say, would either be Billy Elliot or the Tonys. Those were just amazing. Absolutely amazing. As I said, I'm not going to do a challenge because people aren't going to be here, so if I roll a one or a three, they're not going to be here, and I don't know if we're finding people to fill in, so I'm just not going to do it. And uh, let me know what you think about my suggestion of taking a break for a week or two and seeing where everybody is, if we need to find new people, how many, and what we need to do. And then we can get on that and maybe start a new season or something. Carl, I'm going to miss you on this channel. We'll still see each other on YouTube. We each have our own channels and we'll check those out. But I will definitely miss rolling a one and getting to see what you do for our challenges. Bye.